Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel and today we are doing an under £10,000 Sims modern house build. So I started off with like a thin house and I'm making extra high walls because I want to get that height because if we're going to do uh, you know more money we're going to want to try and make the most of it kind of thing. Get as much room as possible. Um, so I'm doing this so it can be a starter house because then you'll still have £10,000 to decorate which means you don't have to like scrounge on the cheapest options available. No, I wanted this to kind of be, um, kind of like Game of Burry's house if you haven't seen that in One Life, uh, the last season. But I wanted it in the middle, I wanted like a vertical, something quite thin and then to look like this window is just going down all the way. And at this point I really couldn't decide, I felt like that looked really stupid with the tiny thin windows. So I just made it a little bit bigger, um, I made it a little bit bigger and I decided to change it up and go for some wider windows. Um, by the way, sorry if I sound a bit muffly, um, it's currently 10 o'clock on a Sunday and I can't be bothered to go get my mic so I'm using my headphones. But um, it's not the first time I've used my headphones. Also, this game's a bit laggy. It wasn't actually my game. It's OBS. For some reason, it seems to want to slow it down a little bit. But, um, I mean, we all know by now that I'm a laggy, laggy channel. Um, but, yeah. So, I was kind of happy with this. The sides are a bit thicker. It's a shame that the windows are only a certain amount of blocks. Um, but I was, in, I was into it. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, so now I'm going to add like a little compartment on the side, um, a little room, because obviously that's, that doesn't look very good just like that. So I wanted a horizontal this time, I want something like horizontal rather than vertical to add dimension and modern houses tend to have different rooms and they don't tend to be squares, like just one big square, they tend to be all different compartments and things like that, I think that's quite trendy nowadays for modern houses. Um, and then I also wanted to have a different size one on the other side. Um, and I actually have a plan for this. I want it to be like a conservatory with like glasses. Uh, I did a conservatory video. It's a bit redundant now that you have glass roofs. But um, I did have a conservatory a while back. And, you know, I wouldn't have done that video if I didn't enjoy doing them. So um, I decided to make it a bit smaller just because it was the same size as the other one. Um, so I just kept making it smaller until I was happy with it. Uh, I finally was happy with it and I decided to now um, go ahead and start adding some windows in and obviously I'm sticking with the theme of the big windows. I really struggled with windows because when these windows are quite expensive each time they took off um, like I think it's like £250 each time so it was quite difficult to stay to the um, the, the budget of under £10,000 and I actually have to take out some stuff later on because it was too expensive, some details. But um, I definitely am better at not limiting my amount of money that I can get. And then this side I decided to do little slits, like little slit windows, missing every every wall out every now and every other one. Um, and I continued it all the way around and it worked out perfectly. Um, and then I did continue on, but I decided to eventually stop doing that just because it looked a bit stupid, like how the windows were all to one side. Um, so I decided to delete them ones, and then I went straight in with um, two of the big ones. So at this point, I decided that it was about time to uh, start doing some roofs. And I did start off with this like triangle one, and I almost instantly thought that's gross. Um, modern houses tend to have these kind of like uh, half roofs like this but very pushed down you don't really usually see them quite high up like that they're usually very pushed down very minimal I think modern houses tend to be quite minimal um, so I just pushed it down not all the way but just enough and I decided to go for um, obviously the glass on this side because I already said that you know the glass um, is what I wanted um, you can change that to white as well, but I decided not to just because I felt like the whole outside of the whole roof thing is going to be white. And then um, I decided to do the same on the other side. So I just did exactly the same, made the roof a little bit bigger. Um, I recently bought cats and dogs, by the way, guys. Woo! I'm like probably happy with myself for doing that. I got it in the Black Friday sale. So I now have cats and dogs, so I'm ready to carry on the Sims series. 
But yeah, so I did that on the other side, and then finally there was just one more left, and I decided not to go towards one side, I decided to go towards the front, as I feel like that's the thing that made the most sense. Um, so I just did the same, and this made it super, super high. So then I just pushed it down, like, just, like I said, and then it made it look kind of cool. Um, now the only thing that I did find was there was a bit of gap at the, like at the, above the window on the roof so I just um, went in and added in the window to kind of not to carry on the theme of the window going all the way to the top but obviously it's a separate window and it has a separate outline so um, I was just looking for the window and it just goes on top there so it kind of carries on the theme it's a little bit more separated but um, I wanted the windows to go all the way to the top because I am going to delete the floor of that roof. Um, then I decided to um, kind of explore my options a little bit more. So I realised that the roof wasn't all the way, you know, forward. It was to the back a little bit. Um, and I realised that the... Um, oh, I realised that my mouse was glitching a little bit then. Um, and then I decided to, um, do some, like, outside walls, I don't really know what to call it, but, um, I decided as the middle one I wanted it to kind of be stone as, um, I feel like it's a nice feature, and as the main one it, I thought it made, made more sense for that to be a feature, right in the middle, rather than one to be to the side, and obviously the other one won't have a feature because it's glass, so... Um, but I decided to go for it. This is custom content. It's um, it's the from the PS range. It's quite cheap. I think it's like one per wall, one simleon. And then as for the glass, as for the glass room, I went for plain but pretty, which is quite expensive. And now I look back, I probably should have done something else, or just kept it as drywall. But I wanted it to look nice and pristine. Um, so the house started to really take shape, um, I decided then to move on to the roof and I went for my classic modern house roof, which was this kind of like, uh, like marbly kind of texture, but um, I then decided that um, looking around it, I really liked it, it's going to be really easy to live in, um, and then I was thinking of ways to add in more detail, so what I decided to do was obviously I... Um, I started out by adding a little pool, um, so I decided that, um, that was, sorry, that was shining, like, the whole time, so I decided to quickly, um, get rid of that. So, um, I decided to add a little pool, because I thought most modern houses have some pools, but, um, the problem that I had was, um, I wasn't sure how much it was going to cost, um, so I decided to move on to stairs. Um, and I decided to go for these ones just because I feel like these are quite modern stairs. And now with the key to a small house is obviously to have small stairs. So, um, the, the problem that I found afterwards is that obviously the stairs are blocking the glass room. And it would have been nice to have it all open. So having it on the other side would have made sense and had a little doorway. But, um, if I was going to live in this house I probably would have kept the stairs to that side. And had a little open section underneath the stairs. Um, and not kept it completely open. Had it as kind of a separate room. So, um... Then I decided to have a look at some other options that I could do. So I had a look at some furniture and um, I'm gonna edit this bit out because I didn't actually decide to do furniture in the end. Edit, 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 edit.
so now what I'm doing is I am thinking of things that I can add to try and make the outside look a bit cooler because now that I've kind of finished the house I wanted to add a couple of extra bits so I decide to go into the swimming pool and add a little swimming pool um, I actually have to later remove this because it went over the £10,000 mark um, but I mean swimming pools aren't necessary really so I just added a tiny little swimming pool like that um, just a really small one um, I wasn't really paying attention to the price and then the ladder I had to add which um, which was still quite expensive um, and even a lot of light I really wasn't paying attention um, and then I went on to the um, terrain tool and I began to make a like a drive for a car because obviously they're going to have a car if they're living in quite a nice house uh, I also made a little path um, I realised that actually it was quite a huge um, tool that I had on so I just made it a little bit smaller I made a little path um, and then I decided to start adding some like dead grass um, just like where the car had been parked there a long time um, and then I do add a car but it turns out the car is super expensive um, so I had to sadly I had to sadly take it away So I just add in the car um, and I blow it up obviously to make it look a little bit bigger um, and then I kind of make it that way because they're posh and they reverse in. Uh, I decide to change the colour into something a little bit more garish, less garish I mean. Um, and then I realise like why is, my, why is the cost gone down a little bit? Um, because I had the cost up in the corner of my screen I was like totaling it as I went along except from the swimming pool. Um, so I changed the colour of the car and then I started adding in some foliage, um, I wanted some modern plants so I went for like the royal palms because I think palm trees are quite, uh, in modern houses palm trees are quite popular, um, so I'm just checking the till and I realised that I actually, I thought it was the tree but it was actually sadly the swimming pool that made the cost, cost go up so much. And I looked at it and it's still £128 over. And then I realised that it was the car. Like, how much was the car? Uh, and then I checked and actually the car was so expensive. And I just... Um, so I had to look and see if there was any other cars. But the only other car was a really ugly one. And it would have still been so much more... It was, still would have put the price over by a lot. So I decided just to use my money to buy some... Um, to buy some trees instead. So... Um, I, firstly though, so I've decided, I decided to delete the, um, to delete the floor of the roof just to make the top floor a little bit bigger. The top floor isn't going to have much on, it's probably just going to be like a bedroom that you walk straight into, but, um, it's good to have a second floor in our house, especially a star one. Um, and then I decided to add in some trees, so I got the Majestic Pram. Um, I got a royal palm, sorry, and some majestic palms, um, and then obviously I left the, the drive empty so you can, as soon as you earn £300 you can just buy a car. And I was looking for other places to stick this bamboo tree because I really liked it, but it just didn't really fit in with the theme, um, so I just decided to go into the bush section um, and get some grass and just blow it up to size a little bit, uh, just to make it look like it's a bit of a rough patch that you can't really mow the lawn of and there we go so i will add this to the uh, gallery when i can get back on the sims because currently i'm traveling um so i hope you enjoyed this video um this was me trying to be clever in the video and try and show you guys around um but so yeah there's the room the room with the slits in the conservatory room the downstairs uh we've got some foliage outside kind of like you know stuff like that um anyway this was under ten thousand pounds an easy start at home and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye